This is going to be the 2015 Slammies. Real wrestling Slammies, because we do it way better than WWE, because, you know, no fan voting or whatever. Yay! Yeah, aren't yeah. We, but aren't we fans? Fuck you. Denied. <laughs> All right. Um, We're experts. I have to um, I have to give a shout out to uh, my boy Gohan for coming up with these nominees. He look, It looked like he worked really hard for this shit, so um, without further ado, let's just get started. All right. First category, debut of the year. The nominees are Samoa Joe. He's fat. <laughs> Kevin Owens. He's fatter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, you went with he's fat, and I, I thought I would um, keep it up. Sami Zayn. Donald Trump was about the country. And Braun Strowman. Well, yeah, because he's an illegal immigrant. And Braun Strowman. He's green. All right. Um, <laughs> votes? Uh, Kevin Owens. He beat John Cena. Clean. Sam, I mean, Sami Zayn's obviously for his main roster debut. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, the concept said perfectly. Kevin Owens. He came in hard. He beat John Cena. <laughs> and he's Intercontinental Champion. Was. Or was Intercontinental Champion, I'm sorry. I'm going with Strowman just because he's big as fuck and there's literally nothing anybody can do with him. That's, I, I think that's part of the reason why he's not even in that, his own storyline because they, what, what, what they going to do? They going to put Big Show against him so we can, they can ruin his career? No, they going to just keep him there alone. Let, 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 his, let him build up the suspense of being a powerhouse. Now, now just remember, for initial debut, not what they done after they showed up. Because Braun Strowman ain't done shit. But that first night. Yeah, his he, initial he, debut. He, he raised hell that night. <laughs> he choked out everybody. <laughs> they had everybody talking. Everybody was saying his name wrong. But <laughs> Cause everybody went licking. Beef stroking off. Yeah, nobody could find him for a good while for somebody to realize he was a rosebud. <clears throat> yeah, I actually seen him. Yeah, I see him too. That's creepy. I actually seen that recently. Uh, Oh, my pick. But the, um, well, it's Strowman. You pick a It's only a matter of time no, before. I'm, I'm, I'm debating. Oh, okay. It's only a matter of time before Strowman meets his match. Big match, John. Mm. Crickets. Damn, I might have to go to Strowman. I would. I want to say Owens because he had the best start you could ask for. So how? No, nah, Kevin Owens' debut? debut was not at the Elimination Chamber. It was yeah. that night on Raw. Oh. When he cut that promo with John Cena and just made him seem like a bitch. But oh, actually, yeah, that was still a good because he he uh it was hit, real good, he hit John Cena with the ti- he hit uh John Cena with the title I think didn't he? Well, he beat the shit out of Cena that night. I remember. I don't think he on top. I think John. I think Sean Cena would shake his hand and he whipped him to the ropes and him with the pop up power. Bomb. Yeah, that was impact impact and John Cena put somebody over too. Then he stumped on that um U.S. Yeah, title. Oh yeah, changed mind. Yeah, yeah um, that's what happened. With the title I forgot too. all about that part. I just yeah. remember the promo. I should say that's that beat John Cena. He got over John Cena on that promo. Yeah. Did he powerbomb the step on his belt? Yeah, that's yeah. enough for me. I gotta, yeah, I gotta go with KO as well. Strom is a good choice, but I'm, yeah. I'm sticking with Owens only because it was John Cena. I just yeah. remember when Strom <coughs> came in, the light came out, you see that big ass nigga? Yeah, that. With yeah. a black mask, and then when he took it off, you didn't know who the fuck he was. Uh, who the then fuck he was? He was creepy as fuck. <laughs> then he walked there. Like, he can't walk ass like that no more. I don't know why, but that one night. He walked a lot of ass. Yeah, he, he, they kind of slowly um, <laughs> dropped his power level a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I hate that too. And because he started reacting to the Superman punch. I guess like, they had. He, he don't fall now. He'll never leave the feet. I give him credit on that. I guess he had to a little bit. I, I think I said that on the first real wrestling match. They're like, they, they're going to power him down eventually. You just can't have him no sell everything every week. But you know what? It works perfect now with Aaron Rowan being there because Aaron Rowan and Harper can always just take the beat of the day. When shit get too out of hand, Strowman come in and clean it up. Yeah, I want you to do it like that where he would just basically be in a mask or he'd be in the background. It, it when he gets a, serious, then he comes out. Make him seem retarded. Like, he don't know what's going on. He just stand there until Bray get a call. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but I'm, I'm going with Kevin Owen. Okay. I, I guess the Kevin Owens votes has it. Um, this is the Kevin Owens show. Yeah. Y'all, y'all Debut of the year is KO, Kevin Owens. All right, let's go to um, the next category. Catchphrase slash chat of the year. The nominees are New Day Rocks 
New Day sucks. Wow. New Day rocks. New Day rocks. New Day rocks. New Day rocks. Suplex City, bitch. Or, as my client Brock Lesnar said, Suplex City, bitch. This is my house. This is my house! <laughs> and believe that. Believe that. Believe that. Oh, believe yeah, that. <laughs> no, no tater tots? Uh, discuss. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's obviously Newton. I can't say obviously because that's a hard well, shit. That's my pick, the New Day. My, <laughs> I would have voted for Suplex City, but the problem is they ran that. Yeah, into New Day. The, the that's they, they, and why did they kill that? And so, <laughs> no, no, you let, it ain't no day. It's one person kill that. Cole killed. Yeah, you right. Paul Hammond did his job, too. Cole Michael, killed. Michael Cole did kind of kill it. I love how it <laughs> was so organic when it first happened when he said, Suplex C, bitch. See, Cole <laughs> is the old white person. That finds a, a black dance and then as soon as it goes viral, it's dead. Oh, you mean Tom Cruise? <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaming Cole, but Cole ain't my biggest blame on this car. Like the fans help run that to the ground. Where Suplex City means all over the place. I'm like, of course WWE was gonna use it. Then Paul Heyman started doing it. Started talking about uh, taking him to Suplex City. Brock Lesnar had shirts with Suplex City dislocation. Well, I, I love the the fan shirt it had actually population. Bitch on, on, the, on the fan shirt was better than WWE one because the fan one had you know population bitch wait, on there. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. We've got one catchphrase that Michael Cole started that actually is good. I kind of think it started. He made it real popular out of nowhere. Randy Orton with an RKO out of nowhere. Oh, because you mean about the RKO out of nowhere? He did start that, and you are one hundred percent right. And I just realized he does that for every move now, not just the RKO. <laughs> Because Orton on uh, his shoulder coming. And uh, uh, well, for those well, soon, for those exact same reasons, y'all got tired of the uh, Suplex City chant is why I'm choosing it because it was that popular. Can I do a write-in? No. Denied. Oh, okay. No. What? Is, what? what, 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 what is, is, hey, we want some bad. Hell no. no. Not the same idea. <laughs> what, what is? <laughs> what, what, hey, what? <laughs> we want some ballet. Hey, I hey we want some pull. Oh, wrong one. No, <laughs> I, still, I still want them to slip on, on when they're doing that chant. But, we uh, know what their what, what their song they're singing. They want some pull. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, then Tyler S is at full sale. I'm pretty sure they can find something. But yeah, I'm going with Suplex City because it, it, it got ran. Okay, we got exactly. one for Suplex City. I went with New Day. Now one for New Day. New Day. Two for New Day. It's cause it's uh, because of how he does it and just so funny when he does it I'm going to believe that <laughs> okay we got believe that uh, I'm going to be voting for New Day Rocks New Day Sucks because okay that's how many that's three for New Day I believe New Day got robbed in the real Slammies and it's about and, and we want to make sure that they walk away at least one Slammy hey, y'all can vote uh, what, what you call it it's a three way tie we were right in the wrong it was a three-way tie. He voted for Bleed Dead. <laughs> Wait, no, there's three for a New Day. Oh, I was saying two for Bleed Dead. No, I said no. he would have voted. I, for that's Bleed what Day I was gonna vote two. for, even though I love it when Paige screams, "It's my house!" Because I want to make you know bring her into my house and wear her ass out. <laughs> But I mean, that's not the point. Did, I think it's literally is her house. I think she sleeps in that ring. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shit, the way she knows it and, and screams botched it, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'm going with Bleed Dead. So the winner is um everybody voted right. Yeah. The winner is New Day Rocks slash New Day Sucks. For catchphrase slash chant of the year. Next category is Tag Team of the Year. <laughs> the nominees are Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. Close. The New Day. The Usos. And the Lucha, Lucha, Lucha Dragons. New, New Day is tag team of the year. Because we know what we're talking about. 
I mean, this is this yeah. is an easy category. I mean, unlike the fans. I love Kid and Cesaro. If yeah, they would have been there the entire year, they would have easily got my vote. But cats and facts. See, I mean, they were close second. The really injuries second. were screwed up for me picking Kid and Cesaro. Exactly. Yeah. That yeah. screwed up the Usos too. If you think yeah, about yeah. it, yeah. That's why I don't have, know how they won tag team of the yeah, year. Yeah, really. Because the fans. Because they're Roman cousins. I mean, DJ was like, yeah, man, I got this slamming. Yeah. yeah Lucha. Ooh, Show working out right. Ow! Lucha <laughs> 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 dragging his up. Ooh, ow! And Lucha Dragon is starting to climb up the mountain, so. Yeah, I'm really liking the Lucha Dragons. As long as Sin Cara don't cause an avalanche. But he, he bites so hard on SmackDown. Man. The choice is obvious, though. It's got to be the New Day. <laughs> the new day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's got to be the New Day. Yeah. Is this going to be a New Day sweep? <laughs> Probably. Um, <laughs> yes, because we are professionals. Tag Team Amateurs of the Year. Amateurs professionals. God damn it. Tag Team of the Year. <laughs> the New Day. <laughs> Next category. Heel of the Year. Oh, boy. This is the good. nominees are Seth Rollins. <laughs> You didn't say it right, Seth Rollins. Shut the fuck up. You holding this shit? <laughs> That's why I fight. Kevin Owens, Bray Wyatt, and Rusev. Discuss. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. You went from the architect to the man, Seth Rollins. I'm sorry. Second Seth Rollins. Hmm. God damn. Wait, 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 Fuck. You go, you go. The main reason is he's not generic. He carved out his own spot as a heel. John. John. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's everybody a great hey, heel. D. Hey, D. Hey, D. Hey, D. 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 Hey, D. Hey, D. Hey, D. Hey, D. Brought back the authority. <laughs> That was last year. But he did it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. Before my At the book. end of last year. Sorry, dude. He doesn't have a punchable face, but he has a voice that makes you want to punch him. Go, go ham, man. Great work on, on on the choices and shit. But I got to say something about this Rusev one, man, the fraud vote. Oh, dear. He's just a damn placeholder, hey, because okay. they, they, <laughs> outside oh, the first dear. three, everybody else sucked as a heel, except exactly. for New Day, but we can't put New Day here. So Rusev's a yeah, fucking placeholder. <laughs> hey, wait, why, is new, why is the New Day up here for heel of the year? Because they're because, a tag team. Because they're comical, probably. More and it's three of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. They're, so they're just gonna fucking um, you know, yeah, uh, free bird. Free bird. <laughs> <laughs> and you forget, you forget, you forget Rusev all the way up before his injury. No, not me. What pay per view? Oh yeah, he was out Rousseff for a while. Rusev was strong at the beginning of the year. As a heel, he was great all the way to his injury, and then he looked more <clears throat> sympathetic in that feud with Dolph because. So we went across Dolph Stroke. Because everybody was out of character. So we went across Dolph Stroke with that crutch, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my vote is the obvious choice. Uh, you know, Seth Rollins. He, he, he's a weasel. He made everybody hate him. And then injury, uh, the injury bug decided to say, "Hey Seth, you're such a good heel. I hate you, so I'm gonna hurt you." Kevin, now, anonymous. I, I'm I'm going with Kevin Owens. He he healed better than Seth Rollins because he he was he's a nonchalant heel, which is funny. I'm going with vacant. <laughs> I want he's a bigger douchebag to be. Yeah, funny. that's why. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with. I have. I have to agree with nobody. Um, was it nobody or the concept? This the concept. Time? The concept. I have to agree with the concept completely on this one. Kevin Owens just. He makes me laugh. I mean, it's not. Re- it, it's just. He's so matter of fact about it, but he tells the tr- He tells it in such a way where it's like, yeah, he's not wrong. It's just the way he's he goes asshole. about it. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. Mm-hmm. It makes you want to punch him in the face. But you know you get your ass whooped because he's that damn good. So, yeah, oh, and can't forget about about um, fucking the the power bomb on the apron. Good oh, stuff. Yeah. You know good what, t- and what and the fact home. that he Twitter feuds with every. Person. Yes, mm-hmm. he's like modern day two. He's like he's like wrestling Tupac. Well, what's that? <laughs> and, yeah, and the fact that what did wasn't he the one who basically just shut the neck beards up? Yes. <laughs> what Seth Rollins has over him though, he had the title and made himself the most hated person on the roster. While having the title and keeping the title for well, most of the year, I didn't hate I, Seth Rollins. I, 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 I didn't hate him. I, 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 I hated the authority. I'm gonna tell you the authority. I'm gonna yeah, tell you the authority. It's basically yeah. what uh, Ayrt just said because Seth Rollins is is my second favorite wrestler, and he got me to not like his ass to the <laughs> point where 
Every time he opened up Raw, I turned the channel. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't turning the channel because of him or not because of, you know, King Mc... Oh, sh- the shovel wielder. Well, I mean, no. It just shovel Knight? Seth Rollins' promos was so boring and so bad. John. And he made me not like him. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> in an and, then, and then the special J.J. Security just took ass with the phone. I'm like, you better than this self. You just died, man. You were, really? was so, like, don't get me wrong. Kevin Owens was a very close second. I mean, Seth Rollins sacrificed. He sacrificed everything <laughs> to make sure he get by Brock. And then what's silly for me is, he loses to Brock Lesnar but retains the title. He brings Lillian Garcia in the ring to announce that he lost by disqualification. And he celebrated the whole time when she said, and still WWE champion Seth Rollins. And, and he lost. And his escape ability is so good that after he got L5 and she have been out cold and the light came on, he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying. I just said, Brock I just said Ross with Naruto Cat's transformation. He transformed into the Undertaker. I can't deal, man. Oh, my God. And then the vacant, the vacant struck. Well, uh, uh, why did you, you vote yet? Because I think you decided. Why oh. did you vote yet? I voted for Kevin Owens. It's, yeah, it's time. Wait, it's a three-way tie. Or two-way tie. Three-way okay. Time. What the fuck am I talking about? So, I guess... I'm all right with that. I like both. Actually, I should change my vote to um, Seth Rollins' knee, but I will not do that. Um, so, um, Heel of the Year is a tie between Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. Next category is Face of the Year. The nominees are Bailey, well that was weird, John Cena, Finn Balor, and Roman drains the life out of the crowd. Well, ain't the discuss. Ain't the presenter biased too? No, I, I, I'm just joking. I, I love, I love Roman Reigns, man. That's my John nigga. Cena. Uh, faces. He, 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 he had th- how many of the greatest matches of the year? Five of them. Yeah, well, he, the whole he, time he helped get Owens the heel over even more so than he already was. Yeah, but that whole but as far as the face is concerned. Half the crowd's going, let's go Cena. They're saying Cena sucks. But how much that dirt is change, on a man's that hands? Change the face. <laughs> how much dirt is on that man's hand? How much? How many bags of Miracle Grow is on that man's hand? Yeah, no. None. No, no, None. No, no. no Miracle Grow. Just potting soil. Because no, he all he does is bury people. No, this, all he does is bury. That's You see what he did to Eve and Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder's in NXT. And Eve got knocked up. But that wasn't this <laughs> year. <laughs> but that wasn't this year. That wasn't this year. We're talking about this year specifically. As Cena helped get a bunch of people over, he made the U.S. title relevant, and while at the same time cut amazing promos and had some amazing matches. But he but, left like a bitch. Well, then for me, <laughs> for me, he be a. John Cena takes a oh, month or so off, and the show plummets. <laughs> well, as you know, that first month it did great. Then the injury started hitting. Hey, now it's plummeting. I, I got, I, I got a sidebar. Hey, okay, can we give heel of the year to the WWE writers? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's unanimous. <laughs> no, but continue on. Uh, well, the Mongo scene. Okay, I'm going with Bailey because uh, Cena may have put people over. Darn, I forgot what I, what my main reason was, but ba- Bailey, that's my choice. Cause she's a woman. Mm. I second mm. Bailey. I second Bailey. Third. That's third. third. Bailey. Third Bailey. Okay. I mean, oh yeah, I remember what I was about to say before what? you go, uh, dog. I was like, then all that stuff AYT pointed out that would make him a great candidate for wrestler of the year if it was a category, but not not for face. No, oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. He, I mean, let's see the Chicago crowd. He had all the heat in the world to see him punk chance, and John Cena managed to turn that crowd to cheering him. He's in the ring with Kevin Owens. The smart IWC um, hero, their poster boy, and then John Cena manages to turn the crowd to his side in one promo. And to point Kevin Owens just couldn't even respond to him. I mean, well, Kevin Owens helped pull the best out of John Cena, but it showed showed that this man up here a master at um, um, pulling the crowd. So Bailey up here, great face in NXT, 
But she but has a great face. She's definitely. I said she. De- I said she definitely. She doing homework. How John Cena man, or even a crowd trying to give you all hell. He, he managed to um, flip the crowd. I like. So the reason why I just give John Cena just because John Cena been doing it longer, and he and the NXT crowd loves her to death. Bailey can bo- Bailey can botch to make Sin Cara jealous, and she will still get cheered up down there. What, what are his qualifications <laughs> to make a face of you? What, what are your qualifications for making him face that would only include making him face and not include just champion of the year? I mean, wrestler. Of I guess well, that's, character, that's, I guess another, play, that's another category. I guess playing his role as a face. Oh, so give it to John Cena. Oh, oh, now it's time for me to in- introduce a new segment with Diakis. It's called Diakis Elimination. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here we go. Well, it can't be Roman Reigns because he was left at that pay per view we will not name crying like a bitch. <laughs> so let me see. Um, Brian killed that chance. <laughs> um, Balor. Oh, I thought Balor, Balor was a choice. Yeah. Wow. Um, not yet, kid. Um, Bailey, I bet she gives good face. Um, <laughs> so I'm going with John Cena. I'm going with Bailey. <laughs> All right, so got three, 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 three. I don't want to give my reason for Bailey. The Bailey's over with everybody. Yeah, everybody. That's why I'm she's a hundred. John too. Cena's mixed, and that was my only deciding. That's why I'm the Bailey too. That was the only reason. Otherwise, they neck and neck. Yeah. <laughs> so, face of the year is a two-way top. Yeah, two Again. Again. Bailey. And his name is John C. <laughs> Next category. Title win of the year. The nominees. Seth Rollins. That was money in the bank. First of many. <clears throat> Bailey. That was Brooklyn. I know I ain't got him up there. <laughs> Finn Balor. That was in Japan. Beats the knees. And KO. That which, was, which title when we talking about? KO was the one on Sami Zayn. Yeah. Oh, that okay. shit was hilarious. <laughs> I know that. Uh, that, that was good. That, that was another reason not, why. He won by knockout, man. That was they another reason why I said Owen should be heel of the year. Because, man, what he did to, uh, to his, his, his best friend was just fucked up. What? He was going to power bomb him to death. His brain had something he wanted, and he got it. Death by power bomb. <laughs> the way he got it was fucked up, but he got it. This, this, this is me posing a question. It could be an honorable mention, but why? The recent Roman Reigns victory, I think, was pretty good. Yeah. Because he literally beat the man. He, the night before he gets screwed, he beats the living hell out of him, him and the man. Then comes back the next night and wins after be even after being broke kicked five different times. <laughs> and still found the yeah, way. Yeah, that to beating him. was quite brutal. Uh, I, I still couldn't choose it over none of these. Then there's yeah, John Cena Rusev and John Cena won the U.S. title. Where, yep, that young up and comer John Cena where had he, to defend America. Where he debuted that the Springboard Stunner. We don't talk about that movie either. Um, he had a lot of the birth of Indy Cena. But, but if you notice all the nominations, except for that Kevin Owens one, all them three was big wins. Like Finn winning in Japan and all the celebration they throw in streams and all that shit. Bailey being Sasha, that go unsaid. Mm-hmm. And Seth Rollins cashing in at WrestleMania also go unsaid. Uh, well, I, I, I mean, Cena just beating Rusev for you as title. I'm going to pick Seth. I'm not going against it enough, I'm just saying. During WrestleMania, I don't think so. Well, the dog is going to bury a couple of bones here. So, Seth Rollins, it was okay, but he came in late in the match. It was a great moment that he won. One big is Bryan's. And, yeah. and, of course, Roman Reigns. Uh, I did the backstage stuff out of it. Then Finn Balor. Yeah, that one hard. I'm leaning towards that Finn one. Bailey, I'm leaning heavy on Bailey. Cause she's finally got it. It was all about Bailey, but I'm still thinking about that Crap. Seth Allen one. Yeah, it is all about Bailey. Sammy Zayn was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, he won in December. Okay, okay, that's what I thought was this year. If Sammy Zayn was here, I would win for Zayn. When he finally stopped choking, I give it to Kevin Owens. I just I'm thinking about the way Kevin Owens won. I don't think that's so why. funny. Oh, that was, uh, <laughs> Death by Powerbomb. I mean, he was dead, and he just went stop. I'm like, stop, man. <laughs> that was a dominating win. 
you <laughs> setting yourself up as a legit champion ever, right? <laughs> right. Nah, I don't think that's that's the that's the most dominating win that. ever. Because I, I, I remember Brock Cena. SummerSlam. Brock, that overbooked Cena piece got, of shit. Cena got pinned in one of the most boring matches since Lesnar Goldberg. Kevin Owens massacred Sammy Zayn. Sammy Zayn got stretched out. Oh, you're watching the same match. Oh, 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 John Cena oh, 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 like John Cena oh, oh, 16 times. John Cena. Seven, five, 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 John Cena. That was an overbooked pin. piece of shit. John Cena oh, no, got pinned. You saw it was? John Cena got pinned and left on his own power. Sammy Zayn got carried by the same doctor that F.O.C.M. pulled. I bet you he was giving him a Z-Pack right after that. I got to give it to the dog. Sammy Zayn needs Dragon Ball up to that beat. John Cena needs a Sensor beat. John Cena ain't that Sensu B and whoop Bray Wyatt ass the next night forward. <laughs> well, I mean, he, I had a, he had to get his heat back. I'm going to stick with Bailey, though. Sammy Zayn lost I'm all that heat. With Seth. Seth. I'm going with Seth Rollins uh, because that began the future we now know as the weasel of the WWE. The man that could always run away and made himself one of the most hated people of all time. I almost wanted to go for self. I almost wanted to go self because he ended one of the worst title reigns in history. But <clears throat> Kevin Owens, what he did was just dirty. <laughs> I gotta go with KO as well. I'll go KO because I mean, that, damn it that again! Was, another oh, freaking that ta- no, that's not a tag. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not the one who picked Bailey. Okay. Uh, even though I did love, I, I mean, I love all, all all these all all these. It's just I gotta give it to KO because that man, that, that's a douchebag, Wario man. <laughs> <laughs> I I just didn't think they was gonna give him the title when I was watching. I was like, they should give him the title. He didn't lose. Like he still continuing the match. He just won't stop power bombing it, man. <laughs> I wish you were paying him and get this shit over. He with. power bombed three times and then get on kick it out. I mean, he, do, just, he kicked out the first one and then I think he power bombed. He kicked out again. Then he just power bombed two more times and he wasn't gonna stop. He was like, <laughs> if you just gonna keep kicking out. I'm gonna keep power bombing. The referee had to stop. I'm still laughing at the last one when the referees had pulled him off, and then he went and tore him apart, picked him up, and piled him up. Um, title win of the year, Kevin, Kevin Owens. Owens at what was it? Takeover. Yeah, Takeover Rival, I think. Takeover whatever. I mean, there was three for no, Kevin no, no, Owens. Yeah, Rival. that was three for Kevin Owens. <laughs> Next category: Feud of the Year. The nominees are. Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, Kevin Owens, John Cena, Kevin Owens again, <laughs> Sami Zayn, <laughs> Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt. Discuss. Hmm. I would disqualify Zayn Owens because of Zayn's injury. Cause it got I mean, struck. that's how it ended. Kevin Owens, <laughs> he ended his head. <laughs> I, I know, but, I mean, it didn't really have a, a real ending. It just kind of had to yeah, take dude. a pause. Yeah, it had yeah, a real dude. ending to me. Pile up, pile up on the apron. <laughs> 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 My problem with that one is it, it didn't go that long. Kevin Owens just straight ran the dude into the ground and pretty much ended it. Mm. It wasn't a back and forth feud. It was a feud, though. I mean, it was just too short last night. It was Undertaker Brock Lesnar. Come on. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm inclined to agree with that. Because, come on, look, this is a phenom who came, I honestly thought was done. They brought him back and had him kick this man's ass and just kicked him. Don't forget about kicking him, giving him one of the Bray worst Roman, he- um, Kevin low blows ever. Cena and Sammy Man, can't forget the low blow. I mean, for oh. Christ's sake, this man put Brock Lesnar in Hell's Gate and Brock Lesnar flipped his ass off before going out. Uh, just, and then they got the hell in the cell and they brawl and beat on each other. Yeah. That was the first time they had an empty the back room to separate them brawl in a a, a a good healthy while. Just based on match quality, I gotta pick Cena. I'm gonna Cena, kill you, Cena and Owens. You're gonna have to. Even though we saw the same match three times, when the first one is really good, the two carbon copies are just gonna be really good. The first match. one was more shaped to Kevin Owens because John Cena did more put him over. Match two and three were more similar than than the first one. Uh, Cause first one, John Cena let Kevin Owens get a lot more offense in. Well, still, just because since he had, since those are three of the six matches of the year that John Cena had, but I guess we'll just condense them all into one feud when we get to that. I'm going just based off of match quality uh, and qua- and quantity of that quality. I'm going <laughs> <with>. <laughs> the score, 
the story, the build up, the story, the build up, and how they did the whole rivalry. I'm giving the Undertaker Lesnar. I almost gave Roman and Bray up. Bray, when he brought Roman's family into it and his daughter, I'm like, well, Bray went back to real creepy Bray Wyatt. <laughs> real creepy Bray Wyatt. So on the promos, the only, and then basically shook Roman Reigns. And I mean, basically he kept laying out everybody that tried to associate with him. <laughs> it was a great feud, but that feud take, brought back the Wyatt family. Take her, take, but take a Lesnar, two legends going at it. There was just two legends going in. And Undertaker actually got a match, a legit match out of Brock Lesnar. So it wasn't hope it wasn't Lesnar smashed sixteen times, game over. Lesnar actually fought a match and it was actually a great match in Hell in a Cell. So take okay. take a Lesnar. All the reason. I'm I'm going I'm taking a Lesnar. Didn't like the feud at all. It's better with the best feud of the year. How sad is that? <laughs> That's the one I'm going with. Um, sure. Yeah, not. I know how I feel about all the matches except for the Hell in the Cell one. Is this unanimous? Uh, let me think. Might as well. Um, if you pick it whitey, then it's gonna win. <laughs> I haven't voted yet, so. Um, and it's, it's four. All, oh, oh, it's, there you it's three right now, and we got two people who haven't voted yet. We got it's three and one for uh, Cena Owens, right? Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, I don't have any in there. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably have to go with Undertaker and Lesnar because, I mean, I did like Kevin Owens, John Cena, but those matches, after that first one, it just did, the matches were like pretty much the same thing. That's the way I felt. It just had different conclusions. That's the way I felt. Yeah, so, I, know, uh, I, 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 look at, I, I look at it like pizza. If you give me two pizzas and they're exactly the same, but I haven't tasted the second one yet, if the first one's real, if the first one's that damn good, and then I and I and then I taste the second one, and the second one's that damn good, I'm be yeah. like, well, I don't need to eat no more. I don't need to eat nobody else's pizza. These two were enough for me, so that's <laughs> that's why right. I chose you. And, and I mean, I look at like I think someone mentioned that uh, Owens and Zayn was too short. Yeah, well, well, yeah, that was way too short. Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt, I believe that could have been a lot. I, I believe a lot more could have came of that. Well, I'm going to say about the Owens and Zayn, it seemed short because after the beating, Sami <laughs> Zayn took that long the time beating. off. Yeah. Sami Zayn came back to fight Owens. Oh, yeah. He just put him back out. <laughs> yeah, then he, got, to get beat then down. he got too hype too hype on the ramp and then, you know, the shoulder. I mean. <laughs> yeah, then they had that uh, that main event at that, uh, that Samoa Joe came back. That when Sammy Zane just beat his ass all around the building until that pop up power bomb on the apron and then no more Sammy. That reminds me, uh, Reigns and Wyatt. There's one match in there I really did not agree with. Well, I didn't, I didn't, ex- I didn't sort of get. That was when they had, uh, what was it? When he teamed up with Dean Ambrose and Chris Jericho to face the Wyatt family. Oh yeah, that, that made no absolutely no sense to me. They backed themselves into a corner because they said we got to get a partner to team with Roman and Dean, but. Shit, we can't find yeah, nobody. Jericho never, missed the whole thing. Man, they never he did. followed up on it. I mean, I love Jericho to death, but he, yeah, he, yeah, he, he didn't see out of place. And outside of the, the category, the Jericho, Dean Ambrose thing, nothing happened to like, Also, when, when I saw Jericho, I knew they were losing. I mean, I was like thinking, maybe they might win this. You don't know. But then I, then I, then I heard, 3 2, break the wall. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, they lost. And damn it, WWE, why did y'all even tease that? Because leading up to that, they put a poll who you'd like to see return. And one of the choices up there was Scott Steiner. <laughs> what did he run into? <laughs> why was he up there? Oh my God. Because the internet. <laughs> and when I saw that name, Scott Steiner, pop up, I'm like, I swear, if Roman and Dean stand there in the ring, and then you look back at that uh, ramp and tell who the who the third man is. If I heard those sirens and holler, if you hear me, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Oh my god! I want and, and and for the love of God, give him a live mic. And I want I want to hear Cole go. Uh oh. Remember like the last time he got a live mic, he's like, "Give me the fuck!" <laughs> and then Jr. just goes, "Uh oh." So <laughs> that's all he could say was, "Uh oh." Right. <laughs> to get back on track, to get back on track, feud of the year, Undertaker Brock Lesnar. The next category, 
Comeback of the Year. The nominees are Seamus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, he did have a good comeback. It ended with him winning. What the fuck? What the fuck? Put this shit here. <laughs> Don't have to let the shit. Hold on, hold on, okay. Let me finish, let me finish the nominees. Now you see how unbiased I am. Because Trip did come back. Trip don't believe that shit. I still hate it there, though. Let me, let me, let me finish. Daniel Bryan, The Dudleys. Shit, that just as funny as Shane. Yeah, that is quite funny. Yeah, he came back to the hospital. (laughs) (laughs) Dr. Gans Andrews. Oh, shit. All right. The Dudleys. And The Undertaker. Discuss. Uh, God damn I'm going to just say The Undertaker and be done. Yeah, damn it. That yeah, last one just killed, uh, killed it all. I was going to vote. I was going to vote Dudley Boys, but The Undertaker one just destroyed that. Uh, hey, I forgot I put The Undertaker up. I was thinking right. Dudley too. <laughs> Daniel Bryan came right back to the hospital. The Dudleys there put over the whites. You know, their return was, it was epic. Are we kind of the same as debut of the year? What? This category coming. We kind of the same as debut when he first came back. Well, technically the Dudley came back. They didn't debut. Yeah. They been in no, the No, we treated it the same way when he that moment when he first came back or what they did. After the oh, comeback. you mean the initial comeback? Yeah. No, comeback can be, it's like your whole run after you came back. In that case, Sheamus. That's why I put Sheamus on there. Otherwise, <laughs> Sheamus didn't do shit when he came back. What's up, bro? Kicked two people. He came back, one man in the bank. Started a group. He did do that. Kicked the, I mean, gave Randy Orton the double barrel, bro, kick. He got rid of D, bro. <laughs> Again. <laughs> that B-plus player. Then he won. He, he, he he's C models now. <laughs> then he beat Roman. Then he uh, took the top of Roman Reigns in 5 minutes, 15 seconds. And I just kicked that, your arse. I mean, I just <laughs> and he was victim to the biggest beatdown in history. Followed by the <laughs> next biggest beatdown in history. I still can't get over that last chair shot he took from Roman. I mean, that was uncalled for. That, 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 that was murderous <laughs> intent. You hear that hollow felt like, ah, like, ugh. Shane was bruised up and everything the next night. But he should have came back blacker than Mark Henry after all those chair shots. Shit. My vote's for Shane. It's, it's from his accomplishment. You mean getting beat? <laughs> <laughs> it had to happen. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, he does have you. You do have some dollar points with Sheamus, yeah. But I don't know. Now I gotta take that back. I don't even want to vote for the Undertaker anymore. I, 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 I repeal my vote. Take a ride his ship, but then I mean, I don't care about who won a loss between him and Lesnar. The fact that got a uh, great story out of it. So I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually voting for Sheamus. The world's ending. Sheamus. Shame well, us. no. Oh, here's another great comeback. What about Alberto Del Rio? Hell no. Denied. Who the hell's that guy? <laughs> he didn't make the cut. I thought about him too, but he didn't do shit. Well, he, he beat John Cena. He beat John Cena. He beat John Cena. In a half ass match? Under 10 minutes. He should have a shirt. He would. <laughs> he, 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 I beat Cena in under 10 minutes. I mean, he came back on the sympathy vote. <laughs> then he beat John Cena in a weird ass finish. Makes America just fail. You know, they put him right in the League of Nations after we realized that ship was sinking. They should have did, actually, they should have just did what that meme did. They, the hit promo should have been backstage with that Spanish soap opera music over him. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm thinking about it. Alberto Darío should have his own shirt. Alberto 813. I just kicked your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's no way in hell he was going to win with the cross arm breaker. Hell no. Not against Cena. No, on fucking Monday Night Raw. Yeah, you can, I don't think you're going to make anybody pass out with that shit. <laughs> the um, best thing he did after that would beat Jack Swagger besides Cena. I don't care about Jack Swagger. <laughs> Pothead. You know, I, I think I'm going to be the first one to do this. I don't even want to vote for this category. Fuck this category. I'm done. What? I'm not voting, I'm not voting for comeback of the year. I'm not voting. So Sheamus wins. Well, it's a tag. Just like how Sheamus probably won because I, he, by default. Well, I, well, I, I chose the Undertaker. And two right. people chose Sheamus. So it's... Well, I was so from. Like I said, I, I can't believe that. Yeah, it's three, it's three Sheamus. Yeah, Whitey and the dog chose Sheamus. Me and hey, the, hey, actually, I had said the other take about I one. Said yeah. the oh, oh. Uh, the dog kind of persuaded me with Sheamus. Oh, all right. Because yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying. I'm, I'm gonna do it now. I'm trying yeah. to think. Uh, uh, Sheamus did but, take out Debra. But I was going to take then her. He, and, then he uh, uh, made Dolph kiss his arse. I forgot about uh, that. Uh, uh, he, that was, he was the smartest match. person in that elimination chamber match that was so horrible. Uh, but the fact that he did that dumb shit at Survivor Series, I'm sorry I'm bringing up that pay per view. Uh, you're forgiven. 
And then he actually cashed in. Somebody was smart enough to think that he should cash. Well, I can't fault Shane for that. I'm not going to fault Shane for stupid decisions made by Vince. Um, it's, it's basically easy. I'm going to say Sheamus. I'm going to stick with Sheamus. So, I'm going to go to Sheamus. So how many for Sheamus? Three. And how many for Aaron Taker? Two. Fuck that. I'm taking back my vote. I'm voting for Aaron Taker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm two with neck and neck after um, all the points. I'm sorry, Sheamus ain't winning shit. <laughs> yeah, it was neck and neck except for me. The only one was neck and neck was him and Undertaker and Dudley Boys got like the Dudley Boys. Because at Quite first I was like, Undertaker, then somebody had to bring out everything Sheamus did this year, which is probably why I put him up there in the first day. All right. So, winner of Comeback of the Year, Sheamus and The Undertaker. Next category is Promo of the Year. The nominees are The New Day. You know we're going to talk, so just shh. Who better than to be in a five-man Survivor Series-style elimination tag team match than The New Day? I mean, when you really break it down and really think about it, the New Day is the absolute definition of the word survivor. Think about it. Think about it. Xavier Woods survived a cowardly and vicious attack by those disgusting Dudley Boys. And at Hell in a Cell, we survived his actions. We did. We did. Yeah. But, it, but it's a lot deeper than that. It's a lot deeper. Hold on. Hold on. You see, it's a lot deeper. For example, what is the New Day's favorite band? Survivor. And what is the New Day's favorite reality show? Survivor. Okay, how about what is New Day's favorite Destiny's Child song? Ah, Survivor! What is the New Day's favorite book? Lone Survivor! Or, or how, about, how about what is New Day's favorite movie? Also, Lone Survivor! <laughs> Technically the last unicorn, but regardless, tonight we are going to lead Team Rollins to victory. And um, does anyone in attendance know why? My soul horns. Show of horns. Does anyone know why? My soul horns. That is because why? New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Paul Heyman. Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Heyman, and I am the advocate for the Knight Mayor of Suplex City, Barack Lesnar! It has come to my client's attention that Seth Rollins and his little band of merry men for some reason think my client Brock Lesnar is still in Tokyo, Japan. Which goes to show you that you can put a title on anybody and at the end of the day there's still some dumb schmuck Justin Bieber wannabe that lucked his way into the WWE Championship. Let me spell this out so even something like Seth Rollins can understand it. Seth Rollins, you're going to learn the hard way that Brock Lesnar is the Lord thy God, hallowed be his name. 
And my client, Brock Lesnar, is not a god of love. He's not a god of family. He's not a god of charity. He's not a god of forgiveness. My client, Brock Lesnar, is the god of violent retribution. And that violent retribution will come at the expense of Seth Rollins and any human being that stands with Seth Rollins. For I assure you, this is the sword that shall pierce Seth Rollins' shield. Page. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sound like you've just been inducted into the bloody Hall of Fame is what you sound like. Yes, I won the championship too. You won it. So what? I won it on my first day. I won it twice. And you know what? Here's a little secret. Champ to champ. Title reigns end. And Nikki's gonna get her rematch and she's gonna bring a little hippie sister and a little third wheel and they're gonna take that back and the Divas division is gonna go back right where it was. There is no revolution, Charlotte. You are just a placeholder. No, 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 Becky, Becky. Becky, back off. You know what? Yeah, you're never, you're never gonna be a Divas champ. You know why? Because you're the least relevant of all of us. And let's go to Team Bad. They're all flash, no substance. And then you got Lana and Summer, too busy trying to figure out who they want to climb onto next rather than the Divas division. And then you got Nay. Nay, where are you? Do you even work here anymore? I can't see you, Mrs. Hart. And then you got the Bellas. We all know the real reason they got to where they are. You all know the real reason. Yeah, no, I am not done. I am not done. Stop trying to act like you are somebody because you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your old man. And Kevin Owens. Thanks for cutting my music, uh, you know, if you want to hear it that bad, you could just buy it on iTunes and put a little extra change in my pocket. And yes, I actually have pockets on my wrestling gear, that's how great I am. And you know what? Change. Change is exactly what WWE needs right now. Because the WWE Universe has been cheering for the same old garbage for years now. Yeah, yeah, you're cheering so you agree, right? Because, yeah, because not you guys though. No, because you guys, the British fans, you're better than that. Yeah. Yeah, you guys consider yourselves the smartest fans in the world, right? Yeah. Well, I hate to bring this to you, but you're probably the dumbest. Because you worship a false idol like the Queen of England and you pretend like the royal family is an actual thing. Which in my opinion is the dumbest thing I have ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of dumb stuff. Now this change I'm going to bring, make no mistake about it, it's not for any of you. Here in England, it's not for any of the WWE fans in America or anywhere else for that matter, no. This change is to benefit me and me only. Because I've said it before and I'll say it again, I am a prize fighter. And when I stand in this ring as both intercontinental and WWE World Heavyweight Champion, nobody will be able to deny that this is truly the Kevin Owens show. Discuss. 
Or is this a combination of all their put yeah, together? Who cut the yeah, promo best promo better. Yeah. Oh, New Day. Uh, uh, I want to say something about this. Mm-hmm. What's with people saying they don't say promo uh, cutter or, or, you know, one that gives promos? They say promo. Best. He's a good promo. Is that, uh, actually, is that actually using the word in the correct connotation? You know what? I think it's chopped. I, chop to, to I say do sure. not know. That's what, they, that's what they always say is like he's a great promo. Yeah, they probably like Aaron Riff says that. That's uh, like, that like that because I want to put promo er and it didn't look right. It's promoter. <laughs> that's all promo short, but promoter. That's all promotion. That's promotion. Sounds, promotion. It sounds weird though. Yeah, it does. Could, so, like I said, this could part. What is called? Okay, short, shorthand. I'm thank I'm thank y'all for helping me clear that up because that confused the hell out of me. But. Love well, discuss. It is shorthand. Okay, discuss. Paul, Amy. Uh, I'm giving a new day. I kind of wish oh, new day was on more times throughout the year, and it continues to knock it out the park of whatever stupid shit they do. Plugging in Woods site, uh, making that chick that was interviewing feel awkward. Just come out dancing <laughs> like fool. <Booty. cool. laughs> uh, how many times did it just came out just to talk Poor shit? Jojo. Start the match, then walk out the Poor match man. talking about new. They rocked. They, they just kept doing it over and that over and over the years. After uh, TLC. Uh, Tonight is about your boys. Uh, <laughs> what about that promo where they something like Zay, they summoned Xavier Woods back? Oh that, my that god! Was funny. That was really <laughs> and don't forget the the special unicorn thing where that just they they made that into a thing. Uh, hey, don't forget about save the tables. Yeah. The oh, save the tables. Oh, that's that's save the tables. The tables. <laughs> Cody Kingston. Kobe Keith to save the piece of table that he put out of Xavier's ass. Their thing with that Divas team. What, which team one? Bad. Team, team Bad. Their thing with oh, Team Bad. That was good. Funny. I don't care how much. Yeah, I almost lost the fact because Big E was about to spoil Star Wars. I don't care how much convinced that was. Good thing Kobe didn't see it yet. No, uh, I saw <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't about why? to say shit you. Because I was, I was like, why? Because I was with my me two too. kids. Y'all know I'm my father. Why do you think y'all call me pops? <laughs> <laughs> like, that ain't true. But I'm not. I'm uh, I love that one time like, where Biggie tweeted fucking, um, the, what was it? Jimmy Uso. The cutoff king strikes again. <laughs> Caucasian came out. But I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what, what y'all say about New Day. Y'all not swaying me, Paul Heyman, because he, he made, bro- he was... He was better than Brock Lesnar this year. Let me, I'm, yeah, I said he was better than Brock Lesnar this year because he was actually there to sell the match. <laughs> but, hey, you was right on that point. I kind of wish go hand with a clip to Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt went back to his roots with his promos. Mumbling he stopped, nonsense. He stopped dumbing them down so much. <laughs> For 15 minutes. Dumb it down. <laughs> I still wish he'd, trash. I I still he'd go back when he. I still wish he'd go full Bray Wyatt from a couple of years ago when he actually was speaking in parables, but... Yeah, dumb and dad's the point. It sounds he just g- rambling on about nonsense. Creepy you know, smart just, Jesus. Uh, damn, I forgot about Kevin Owens and Paige. Oh man, Paige. I'm voting for Paige. Paige was awesome this year. I'm mm-hmm. voting for Paige. That pipe bomb, and then that, uh, then that promo with Charlotte when she dropped uh, her, uh, her brother in that promo. Mm. That was kind of a little uncomfortable for me. Straight, she, a Paige is a straight savage nigga. I'm gonna say that right now. Good, I can't. Paige, Paige for, <laughs> She's straight I, savage. Like, I don't fault Paige on that because Paige, she played that well. Because you look at the entire promo, that was good. The decision to do all that shit was stupid. I mean, this. I mean, for that like this was the worst promo WWE have ever said. I'm like, uh, they had the Eddie Guerrero's in hell line. They had the CM Punk thing with well, alcohol, something like that, and on some other yeah, promo where they went ultra personal as well. We had we had um, Big Boss Man drag Big Show's dad's casket in the promo. I just look at it as the time and how WWE. Oh, oh no, I've got now. one. I got one. And then when, and then when Big Boss Man um, got um, Big Show's mama to say you a bastard, your own mama that said was so. Hilarious. I was like, <laughs> so fucked. Oh, I'm like, I have forgot about that. I'm like, WWE. I'm like. This don't even rate on my scale of top tens of most fucked up things WWE has done in the promo. You had a crush. You were like, yes, he's a bastard. That's the yes. way like, like Randall said it. Your friend Eddie's down there in hell. <laughs> was like, so was he just trying up. to be Vince McMahon for a second? I mean, I mean, these did some fucked up promo at the most fucked up times. But, so, I mean, in that case, I'm like, it's just the fact that, hmm. it's just the fact that, uh, Paige said that in 2015, that's why that got so much of a shot value. That, yeah, I think that's what that was, really. It was better than last year. You should have died in the womb. Didn't Paul Oh, yeah, I've got that. I've got it. That was <laughs> Nikki Bella said that. I'm like, <laughs> didn't Paul Hammond drop? I didn't think that he was going to go there. That was a little. Didn't Paul Hammond drop bars this year, too, or was that last year? Huh. 
I don't know, man. There's a lot of choices. Let me see here. I like 95% of what the New Day says because, you know, they appeal to so much nerd culture or whatever. Paul Heyman, he's always does good good work. Fucking Paige, that's waifu. Ugh. And she be, like, dropping bombs like crazy. Kevin Owens, that's that Sasha Banks. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. It's not Sasha Banks' house. Yeah. Good point. However, <laughs> she is the boss. She can move in, too. I don't care. Um, and Kevin Owens, that man be having me crack up. Uh, it's, I love all these people work, but I, I'm leaning towards Owens. Fuck it. I'm going to Owens. Fuck it. What, what's everybody else voting for? Fuck it. New day. I'm going for Paige. You know, I'd rather go to Shark Mean. I mean, Sasha House. At least, you, at least I know I can watch anime with her. Paige, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> You sound like a car that's stumped. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. I'm uh, oh, New Day. New Day got the most votes, though. Okay. Um, Damn, I wish it was an actual award show with the New Day here. It would be the third time they walked up and they would just do stupid shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, they they would have laughed for the third time tonight. They would have, uh, no, they'd be starting to start scraping on the barrel for material. They're like, uh. <laughs> Each one of them come out with a slammy? No, nah, because then Charlotte would be mean mugging me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, winner of promo of the year, The New Day. The next category. New theme of the year. The nominees are Sting. Seamus. Oscar. And Smoa Joe. Smoa Joe. Discuss. His, so Joe's second theme. We're, we're, yeah, we're yeah, that Joe's second yeah, the one that sounded that like other one uh, Simon DJ says. DJ Premier Track. Oh, yeah, no. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Smoa Joe. I it, have no explanation, just a movie. It sounded like that nigga about to go eat, go in on some food, dog, for real. <laughs> <laughs> He's botching up to the football. That had that one part. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Sean Sh- Sh- what perfect for him being a heel now. It does. Kyle, really, my face sounded way too much of a face thing. You mean too many limes? <laughs> or lobster head? Too many more <laughs> but, but, seriously... I thought WWE, I thought WWE couldn't come up with something better than the crow. Well, it still ain't better, but I tie it with the crow thing. So I'm going to um, Sting Sting. Kind of does sound dark and menacing as well. So TBH, I do not like that thing. I don't either. That's IMO. <laughs> uh, you can you, you? I feel like they're trying to go for the old crow theme thing, but at the same time, they're like, Nah, we're not going. To I mean, it's it. nice. I'm not going to shit on it. It's just I don't like it. Well, my brother, like it, is, it does sound dark and mean, so it does fit this character. I'm going with Oscar. Oscar? Yeah, that's a pretty good thing. I, I heard, I mean, I've, I've heard the song that it's based off of. It's a Jimmy Hart, it's a borderline Jimmy Hart theme. See, that's my wish to expect. Um. That is concept, ain't, I mean, concept, ain't it? You, you pick, uh, some I old pick old that, some old joke. We got two for Joe. One I for think, one for. I think AYT voted for Joe, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So we got three for Joe. Yeah, Joe wins. I voted Oscar. Oh, he changed mm-hmm. with uh, Doham. He voted with that Doham. means. Oscar. Oh, that means it's, it's, it's tied between Oscar and Joe. Cause I voted on um, Sting. The Oscars. Wait, I already voted. I voted for Joe. No, oh, that's Joe. three. <laughs> that's yeah, I'm saying. Like, like, Joe wins. <laughs> Joe wins. Yeah. Oh, okay. So new theme of the year, Smoa Joe. Buffet time! <laughs> 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 Alright. Um, 
The next category, headline of the year. The, the nominees are. Oh my God. I got second one. It's so funny. Okay, okay. All right. Let me get through this part. I try to laugh. All right. I'm gonna say that one for last. As a matter of fact. <laughs> I can't read it from here. It's like, it's <laughs> I heard you talk about Seth that. Rollins injury. <laughs> the deaths of Roddy Piper and Dusty Rhodes. Samoa Joe debuts in NXT, and some guy gets erased from WWE history. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, full K K K. Let me tell you something, brother. You know who this? Let me tell you something. No, no, you need to change the word. Say the one word I can't say. Let me tell you something. Hey, no, no. Let me tell you something. Hey, no, no, let, me, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, got I got this one. I got this one. I'm voting for that one. Of course, I'm voting for that Let me one. <laughs> Y'all remember way back when we heard when Bird Team was told, we took what we want. At, we're coming for you, nigga. And then we heard a whole story, and, and, uh, and, and he, Booker is like, Hope was like, well, I'm a good n- nigga, aren't I? Like, wow. We know exactly what you meant now. You ain't no good nigga. You you're tall, you're a good two niggas. So you think you get you think you're you're freaking uh what's his name, former owner of the Clippers. You think you're him, you think you gave them homes. Dal Sterling? Yeah, that you think you're Sterling, you gave them homes and, and slumlord shit, and you think you did them a favor. No, you didn't, motherfucker. Archie Bunker approved. Anyway. But, but it all says, let me get all that funniness. I will say, man, it's Riley, Riley, Riley Piper and a... Same Rose, here. Rose, yeah. Dustin Rose and Piper. But that's the seriousness vote, that's them. But... Of the, all the storylines that made an impact that was funny as shit, that Hulk Hogan one. You mean Hulk KKK Hogan? Right, come on, let me get back out of the way real quick. Oh, Seth the Rollins knee injury because that shook up everything. And we lost the man. We ain't got a man right now. Hopefully, Roman will be man, the man. Oh, right oh. now, Seth is with the man. He's that. Shit changed because Shane has worn the title because of Seth getting hurt. Man, that oh, man, man. phrase. That shit fucked up, Michael. <laughs> But go, but go ahead, man. That phrase is, we ain't no bitches. We don't need no man. We ain't no bitches. What the hell you It's a strong about? independent company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we have two W's in the name. Shit. The way WWE had, um, has always been, they always had one man. <laughs> that was the man. Triple H wishes was the way well, he did. He got his wishes right there. I don't know. That jawline Stephanie has. I mean, I mean the Dusty Road death did really hurt. That no. was one of those. That I'll was a bit lost to wrestling, period. Yeah, I think I'll go. Since he was still involved. Yeah, I think I'll go with yeah, that. Yeah, but, but I'm sticking with stuff. 2015, the year of losses. Injuries, deaths. Rap battles. Tennis <laughs> matches. What a rap battle? Meek Mill got hurt. <laughs> the end of... Uh, that should be a headline, Meek Mill. The JBL and Cole show. <laughs> Yeah, don't remind me about J.J. Yeah, that was sad. Ah, oh, I forgot about J.J. What, is it gone? It's been gone, man. Sad face. Meek Mills got sued by WWE to take that crap down. Must be they were like, well, what's the... Well, what's the they want that nigga associated with it. Hell nah, they don't want to be associated with, that, with those L shit. All right, so uh, took more than me, did you? all right, what what's <laughs> everybody <laughs> voting for? Not even he played. My series was Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, it's my it's gonna be my dusty. comedy book is whole game. <laughs> Same here. Yeah, uh, you mean the Grand Imperial Cyclops Wizard Hulk Hogan? Jesus Christ! <laughs> He'll be back in 2017. Yeah, for president. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh my God! That I'm just imagining that right now. Putin, what you gonna do, Putin, when America runs wild on you? He's gonna be Trump's running partner. Oh my god, that <laughs> Trump Hogan twenty six. Oh my god, that is so hilarious. All There's right. one time I would love Obama just come out and say, "Fuck you, Putin. We don't care about you." 
than, than them as, getting nuked. The These girls are actually doing shit right now. Actually, imagine uh, President Hogan's uh, and I mean, uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, State okay. of the Union. Uh, okay, Let okay. me tell you something, brothers. This guy's going. Hold on, I gotta vote. Okay. Oh uh, shit. Um, I'm going with um, the deaths, unfortunately. Uh, it's sort of macabre, but yeah, that's the headline of the year for me. Uh, I guess that takes it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, uh, he- pain, headline <laughs> of the year. He want to slam. He's good. <laughs> Are the deaths of Roddy Piper and Dusty Rhodes? All right. Next Five cat- times indeed. Yeah. Next category, faction of the year. Oh my God, they're gonna win another one. <laughs> oh, great they're gonna win another one. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm calling bias on the creator of these lists. Of this list. Bias on the creator. There's bias no, of me no. voting. We are no one voting for. They're, they're every time. One of these. One, <laughs> every, okay, one of these I'm gonna leave off. Yeah, you can. I just had to have four. The nominees are The New Day, The Wyatt Family, and The League of Nations. I ain't, leave, I ain't seen the last one. The last one is hilarious. Why? What's wrong with you? <laughs> exactly. They Fuck. bad. What's, what's right with you? I would. Every last one. Yeah, Christian Tamina. Tamina's trash is in one person. Well, in that case. Tamina? No. Yeah. No. In that no. case. Hey, that was Debbie. That was Debbie Throw. I could have threw PCB. No, man. The better one would be Team Bella. Team Bella would be the better choice. Yeah, Team Bella would be the better choice. Because they're actually still together. Yeah. And actually doing things. Yeah, Team Bella would be the better choice, but they still take the L. To the obvious team. The New Day. The New Day. The New Day's going to get this. Yeah. Yeah. The shot is going to go on Brandon. Boom. This is going to be the first you Boom. 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 Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Faction of the year <laughs> by unanimous decision. <laughs> the new day. Yes. Next category. Breakout star of the year. The nominees are Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, and Bailey, Sasha Banks. I'm going, with, I'm going with my fellow brother and belly, Kevin Owens. <laughs> I'm done. I almost want to say Finn Balor and Sasha Banks. I can't I, I can't decide. This is for I'm going to pick with Break my out. head, Break not out. my heart, and I'm going Kevin Owens as well. Yeah, Kevin Owens. I'm going to pick with my head. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Bailey. I the other one. <laughs> oh damn! Uh, oh, uh, wrong man. head. I was thinking of my head. I would have picked uh, Sasha Banks before Bailey. That, that's just nah, Bailey got that cake. Oscar first. Shut the right, fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I like a woman who Kevin can do a flying arm bar. I mean, what, what, what's wrong I like, with I like We know you're a macho, god damn it. Shut up. No, it's not that. It's just I, I respect I don't care if you say it's not that. That's I'm why I'm saying it is. Actually, I want to choose Oscar because I'll be scared with any sharp objects around her. Hell yeah. But You would not want to make her... I'm happy. Kevin Owens. Why? What about the duh? Because he choppy, beat, choppy. He'll beat mm-hmm. John Cena in his first match clean with no interference and no cheap moves. No bullshit. Yeah. His promos with John that. Cena. He got over John Cena in promos in the beginning. Except for that one. Except for the second promo with John Cena. Yeah, where John Cena took it serious for once. Yeah, that one. Boy, that was... That was an amazing I can program. tell you one damn thing, ain't never. I love him. I love him, but shit, they ain't, ain't, ain't sure, never. this one you never to? You might as well damn say it is. Well, no, one of y'all chose Bailey. No, I was thinking of the other head. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, um, I gotta go with KO. My boy KO. Yeah, another one for him. Another one for KO. All right. Um, breakout star of the year, KO. Next category, event of the year. Right. The nominees are Survivor Series. I'm lying. That shit ain't even on here. Fuck that shit. Any goddamn way. The real nominees are WrestleMania 31, NXT Takeover Brooklyn. NXT TakeOver Rival. <laughs> There's a trend here. I can't figure uh, it out, though. Right. NXT TakeOver London. Hold on. I got, I got some gripes here. Denied. I'm going over TakeOver Brooklyn. WrestleMania. Let's just be real. It's probably between Brooklyn and WrestleMania anyway. 
I like London a lot. I love London. But then again, London is the most fresh in my head. So Li- I li- got liking bites. is not the same as voting. I gotta go with Crooklyn. Take over Crooklyn. If, if it was London, I would have picked Hill on the cell, but I'm going WrestleMania. And plus, crime time today. I feel like getting kicked in the face. WrestleMania. Because y'all don't want to choose that. Brooklyn. Choose <laughs> Brooklyn. I'm picking Brooklyn. It looks like Brooklyn, it's gonna be a tie. And if Brooklyn's I'm thinking it's gonna be a tie. I'm picking WrestleMania. Wait, what? Oh, I'm definitely picking Brooklyn. I just thought about that. All right, it's a tie. Why wait, 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 wait. No, sorry. that's four. Me and X Style the one was going WrestleMania. Wait, who's going WrestleMania? Me and X Style. Oh shit, never mind. Okay. Well, uh. hey, WrestleMania would have easily got it. They would have yeah. had some standout matches. All the matches were just short and to the point. All right, um, I guess I'll play for a Except for the main event. I mean, but that RKO, though. Oh, my God, that <laughs> RKO was so amazing. It was, but Orton itself, the match was, should have been way better than what it was. Wait, what, 10 minutes? Bray, Bray spraining his ankle before the Taker match. Fucked up the Taker yeah. match, yeah. But that wasn't their fault, though. Yeah. I really love the show. Don't get me Sting, wrong. Yeah, I like Sting. I hate WrestleMania. Sting control is still probably my favorite match of the night. You can't forget about Dean Ambrose going through a fucking ladder. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that was really, that was horrible. Man. But I mean, that Maybe match that, that night. But that ladder match, match got easily topped at TLC. Yeah, still a good ladder match. Yeah. Uh, but okay. Um, event of the year. Um, take over Brooklyn. <laughs> Next category. Rookie of the year. The nominees are Apollo Cruz, Oscar, Chad Gable. And Samoa Joe. Discuss. Technically, Samoa Joe is a Ricky in WWE. That's weird. Just before somebody say something about TNA. Shady. And if you ask dog, I'm, not, I'm voting for Gable. Shady. Shady. Gable and um, wow. Jason, Jason Jordan, Jordan and, and, and NXT. Question. Oh. Gable just got that this year. Question. Why would, Ru- why would Rookie not include... The, why would Rookie mean the ones that debut on the main roster? Because technically that me- means they're rookies. Actual rookie. Yeah, but thanks to the proliferation of NXT, I mean, it, it, it's hard to be a true rookie. But but that's the same thing with college fo- football. And I get what NXT saying. I, I guess I guess it'll make it simple. I get what he's saying too. But but continue. On. I, I can't think. Of well, if it was, I'd end up picking Kevin Owens. Man, but, man. Thing, but what I went on is people got there. Got to in it. See this year. I don't, I don't have in that case, Apollo Cruz. I just have, don't pay t- as much attention to NXT. Wait, why don't you just like, look for the black give, guy? I couldn't call Sammy Dane a Ricky. Because I want to be informed before years. I make my biased choice of a black person. Dang it! Now I'm <laughs> you gonna, you actually using logic? I okay. can't fucking believe this. <laughs> what? Well, if that wasn't the case, I'm I, would, I would know. If that wasn't the case, I'd vote for Ben Carson. But ain't nobody gonna do that because oh, Ben yeah. Carson's a fucking nut job. Oh, he, he's intelligent, but he's just like an idiot. The, the, um, you're saying, well, hey, I, we were, you know, I, he said, why don't you just vote for the black guy? Really. I'm like, I need some yeah, information. Yeah, he ain't yeah, down for the cause. I need some <laughs> information. <laughs> I ain't uh, down for the cause at all. Dang. I Rock need part. actual evidence before I start <laughs> voting for my biasness. All right, all right. Um, um, make a selection. I'm torn. Right. Apollo Cruz or Oscar? Apollo Cruz or Oscar? Shit. I said uh, F-U-X, dog. I'm actually voting for Gable. It's because... Oscar beat Thot Steiner. Don't remind me. And Thot Bagwell. You mean Muff Bagwell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But then Apollo Crews came in with the million dollar Obama smile or something. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> man, all the charisma in the world. So. Hell yeah, he has charisma out, this, out, this, get out the gate, man. It's crazy. But he, they hadn't really had him have a, a match that, you know, that... Outshine. Only so. problem is I think because I'm going with Oscar. I think because the women seem to have a little bit more top heavy. I think that's why they had to cut cut uh, Apollo Cruz a little short to, at the moment. Well, yeah. Oscar, Oscar's Nick stopped the Finn Balor. Really good it is top heavy, mm-hmm. except you know not that match he was having was having with Finn Balor was pretty good though. It's the it, Baron Corbin fucked it up. It's, yeah, it's top heavy, but not in, in the boob sense because. It looks like the NXT women didn't go too heavy on it. They didn't the get Apollo the big Johnny Cruz, special. <laughs> in between the Apollo Crew, well, now nah, Samoa Joe. Shit. Is it? Are we talking about Samoa oh, actually, Joe? Yeah, Samoa Joe. Or I'm Frothy switching. Joe. I'm switching. Samoa Joe. <laughs> seeing as the only one that fan almost swayed me. Seeing as the only one I have real good info on is Samoa Joe. I'm going Samoa Joe. I'm picking Apollo just because. Like I said, I picked Explosion. Gable because that. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Man, if, 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 if Apollo Crews started doing that I'm, kind of crap, I would be I'm going Oscar. Instant fan. So you got one for everybody. 
Bear Claw. Right now, who you pick? Um, Bear Claw. <laughs> Man, if you just start randomly screaming Terry Crews shit in the middle of matches, like two Joe and one everybody else, I think it's on you, um, yeah. Oh shit. Bear claw. <laughs> Explosion. Oh, Explosion. Uh, now, if you scream <laughs> bear claw after like chopping somebody or something, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Building kick. What? Building kick. Yo, is it building kick? That's skyscraper. I'm trying to think. Um, Gable's not gonna get my pick. That double backdrop suplex though is amazing. The Grand right. Attitude, I love that move, but no. And the fact that he is a he he's a mini angle without the the insanity or moonsaulting off or moonsaulting off the cages yet. Or oh, okay, we have Smoa Joe my, or the pill and alcohol addiction. I bet he knows some good food. Gable got punished for um, stalking Rocky. What well, what Gable get punished for? Wait, for what? being in the tag stalking team. Stalking Rocky. Jordan, oh, yeah. Jordan is putting in just a little work. Yeah, but Gable, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan needed Gable, though. Yeah, that's true. Because Jordan would have probably got cut by now if it weren't for Gable. I'm going with Asuka because she likes knocking bitches out. So we got a cat. Again? Yeah, between Joe and Asuka. Man, the fat boys again, and Joe gets a nerder. <laughs> okay, um, rookie of the year, Asuka and Joe. I'm right can I emergency change my my vote so that we can get Waifu to win? No. no. Oh. Next category. Moment of the year. The nominees are Samoa Joe debuts. Kevin Owen beats John Cena. The Dudleys return. And Brock Lesnar rampage on Raw. Discuss. Mm-hmm. The comedy side of me says Brock Lesnar's Rampage on Raw. <laughs> Same here. It's Hell cold yeah. diet today. <laughs> All was left was a shoe. I, I remember the, the other Brock Lesnar <laughs> Rampage was the death of Bo Dallas. My serious one is Kevin Owens being John Cena. Yeah, again, that that would be my choice. I, 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 my, another write-in. The debut of the unicorn. Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And you can get the fuck out. <laughs> you can get the fuck out. That's one. That's one of the few they did the that was the tape. below a five out of ten for the me. <laughs> they went full Brody for that. Dudley's return. I mean, the trombone's a five out of ten for me. I'm. I'm the trombone is hilarious. I want to go with Joe debuting because it was like, who would have ever saw that coming? I'm Steiner. A, me. I'm gonna go with Kevin Owens because he, he uh. He kind of did the impossible. Back. Well, no, not that. Not, that was after he debuted because he stepped on the uh, U.S. title as as if to say it's a, it's a new time arising because the NXT, you have to pay attention to what we're doing down there in NXT. And the other thing was such a big moment is the fact that WWE doesn't even mention he lost to Cena. <laughs> they, I mean, Cena yeah, got the, the, Cena's like he won a match so they'll keep the U.S. title on, but they don't even mention Kevin Owens even lost to this man. Maybe that's part of the pr- protecting him, like they've been protecting a lot of other people. Yeah. Right, I I'm finally say, understand that. I'm going to say this before I make my pick. Now, since they never mentioned that Cena beat Owens, did Cena have to beat Owens? Uh, well, no, he t- didn't. Well, first, the title no open challenges. Well, if you think about it, um, they didn't even have to do no matches. When Kevin Owens beat John Cena, it was another title match. We could have moved on. Yeah, Kevin yeah. Owens already said he didn't want the U.S. title. So we could have moved on to bigger things. I yeah, but, big I'm going to give my pick. It's going to be Brock Lesnar destroying everybody because... I laughed out loud. I hate that announce team, but I got to watch them all die. <laughs> okay, you convinced Wait, no, me, man, Brock Lesnar. You're going to include that one. You've got to include Roman Reigns actually snapping. Because you that was a lot of moments now. That was, I, I mean, that, that, was, that was one huge one. That was the, that, that, yeah, cause that was the reason I got to listen to you so late, because I was trying to trim that moment down to four. I'm voting that Brock Lesnar. I had about seven people. up there. I, I'm agreeing with Gohan. Brock Lesnar killing people. Definitely I got what I want from Brock. Like this is why I me and uh it's not always argue because I just like to watch Brock destroy people. Oh that's right. Oh right. Destroy. Brock destroy, destroy no everybody <laughs> I dislike. <laughs> Cause fuck Cole. Well, he was even a cameraman because he was showing all them damn replays. So he got destroyed too. <laughs> I blame him for the replays. Now if at you would have marched at least that night. Nah. Brock killed the fan in the car door. Now, if he would have um, marched in on what, what's my call the the you know the creative meetings or and <laughs> destroyed the, everybody in the room. What about in the production truck and punched Dunn in the face? 
<laughs> See, that would have been, yeah, been great, too. too. Yes, yeah, so like his buck tooth motherfucking Bucky Beaver ass out there and just get stomped the fuck out. The only flaw to that is we got Briar Thatton permanently. <laughs> that was Booker last night. <laughs> I Who think booked Booker, this shit? I think Booker showed up the next week, but then they got rid of him. All right, Brian did so bad they had Dread King. What? What are? What, what, okay, what are votes? <laughs> Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Brock, we have Brock. Brock. We got two Brock and two for Kevin Owens. Yeah, yeah, and done. And, and done. one for the deadliest. Dead You're the tiebreaker, Ben. Uh, Wait, Diakis. Uh, Carson. Yeah, I'm Ben Carson. Um. You're too dynamic. Oh uh, shit. Uh, oh, you're, you're right. Um, I would have to go with. I mean, I like someone with Joe Wayne debut, but man, whatever. Um, Kevin Owens beat John Cena. We didn't see that coming. Dolly's return. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna go with the Dudley's returning because I did not see that coming. Alright. Actually, that's a good ass point. I did not yeah. see that. That came I'm out of left nobody field. Nobody's seen that. You know what shit surprised coming. me too? I'm surprised um, Bully, well, not Bully, but Bubba didn't try to drag or get a girlfriend a contract on top uh, of it. I mean, that one, WWE, that was a point, WWE. Actually, mean, I'm going to have to change mine because the category called Moment of the Year. Brock destroying everybody wasn't the Moment of the Year. It was gonna, I'm going Kevin Owens. Him, mean, him being seen and clean was the Moment wait, of the Year for me. That means, So, Kevin Owens went, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Kevin Owens was another one. Jeez. Moment but, of the but year. thanks again, Brock, for destroying all the people. Yeah, but that's also they deserve it. Especially the moment of the year, um, Kevin Owens beats John Cena. Yes. All right. Next category is finisher of the year. It was a hard one, too. <clears throat> the nominees are the Papa Powerbomb. The Coup de Gras. The bank statement. And the end of days. Discuss. What about the curbs? Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh that kind of that was funny. I heard that thing. <laughs> what about the sliced red number two? Did <laughs> you mean the sliced red? I no, did. What about the pedigree? No, you said bread. I'm I said I, I said the sliced red number two. <laughs> what about the sliced red number two? I just speak fast. You can't. You got to get. Well, the pedigree made it us resurgence. And you know, hundred percent right. <laughs> the broke guy on about fifth of you. That the pedigree most of the time. Hate is not on the cup. I vote gonna be the broke. The broke kick, man. He just came back and started kicking people in the face again. And he was kicking them in the face before he, he left. That's what, and kick people. I just well, actually all these moves are pretty well protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I about to say that would probably. Most protected move on this list. No one's kicked out of the end of days yet. That's the most protected move on the list. People have Fan people have squirmed out of that. Yeah, the we bank know. Statement. People squirmed out the bank statement. They kick. I seen Kevin Owens kicked out of coup de gras, which is weird. I guess I mean, he's, he's fat. Yep. And Cena kicked out of pop up power bomb. Hmm. Well, I mean, Cena's gonna kick out of every finisher. I mean, so Owens oh, kicked out of an avalanche AA where John Cena sat up like he saw the devil or something. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Eddie a pro wrestler. That's what. Well, he is. I mean, if you he, you ever heard his uh, Ring of Honor thing? I mean, somebody did make a meme with John Cena holding a cross after he always kicked out of it. Uh, <laughs> I was no kicked out of that shit. The coup de gras because of the force that it seems Finn, Finn Balor uses as compared to Loki. I'm gonna pick the pop up power bomb because he put a lot of people on the shelf when he did it on the apron. Yeah, the the Can't apron. They want, yeah, they want popping up. The, the yeah, apron pop up power bomb is almost like the um the Orton punt kick, the vacation move. When you get hit with that, you're going on vacation. What what about since I had to pick for the if I if I could do it right in, I would have picked the bro kick, but still got to choose from the ones that here. Uh, pop up power bomb. Can't blow up on this battle, but. Owens mm. ended. Owens ended. Sami Zayn beat Cena, <laughs> and, and, oh, and right back it. with it. And Turn, right back. Turns out, pop up is just an umbrella term because that's what Gable and Jordan's finisher is—the pop up back suplex. Pin. Um. Just a out of all these moves on this list, the one I've seen that's the most versatile 
and has actually I've seen got better is the end of days. I'm going with the end of days. Just because it sounds like a metal song, I'm going with days. <laughs> yeah, there's a good reason. It does sound like a metal song. Which fits him perfectly. Yeah, we can he is a metal head. Uh, okay, what, what are our votes? Pop up here. I went with the coup de gras. Oh, no, we didn't. Pop up, pop up, in a days, in a days. I'm going pop up. Just so if pop up wins. Yeah. And Kevin, I don't reckon he is. Yeah, yeah, that's the. What is that? Just think about it. I just seen a picture of him just sitting on a step because he was disappointed he didn't win. You want to know, you wanna know <laughs> we why? We got you, Kevin. We got you, Mark. We got you. You want to know why he's back. raking them in? Because wow. New Day hasn't shown up back up yet. <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually have a good point there. Maybe, I, maybe, they, maybe they could free bird Superstar of the Year or something. <laughs> They should. So the finisher of the year is the pop-up powerbomb. Coming down to the last three, people. The next category is match of the year. The nominees are John Cena versus Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. Royal Rumble. Sasha Banks versus Bayley. Takeover Brooklyn. John Cena versus Kevin Owens, Elimination Chamber. John Cena versus Cesaro. God damn, there's a lot of John Cena. <laughs> Raw. Ooh. Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens, Beast in the East. Not asking a smart ass question, but the yeah. Cena Owens match, Elimination Chamber, is that one, two, or three? Because I can't remember off the top of my head. I can't remember. Right. Right. That was so funny about it. <laughs> Is that one, two, or three? Yeah, that's one. one. That's the first one. I'll that was the, one. I was going to the answer, then I laughed at that, because, like, that's a legit question that to is. ask. Well, that's not even a smart-ass question. That is, that's confusing, because they yeah, didn't Well, Elimination Chamber is the it's first It's the thing. very first one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Elimination yeah. Chamber. My yeah. own one with John Cena versus Cesaro, because one, that was a great match, and the match was on one of the worst Raws of the year, and that match was so damn good that Vince McMahon had them do the match again, Next week on Raw as the main event because he said that match did not get enough attention. He did not get the attention he said it deserved. Well, hold up. And then their their and rematch now, was better. With Cesaro seen the match we talking about the twenty the twenty two minute one or the thirty minute one? Is that the both of the world? The the I think the thirty minute one's the only one. I the think. thirty minute one was the main event. And yeah, I'm talking about both the one before then. The one that Vince McMahon said, oh, we got to have a rematch. We have that, do that again. Was, that it's was the 30 minute one because the 30 yeah. minute one had a finish. I didn't yeah. count the one with no finish. Because the, tw- the 22 minute one didn't, wasn't the main event. It was just a. a Wait, match. no, they had two. It, it was the main event. No, they had two one on ones. Yeah, two, I know. One I'm was, talking about b- both one on ones. Oh, one was 22 minutes, the other one was 30. I, the 30 minute one it's, was. It's the 30 minute one. Yeah. I, That's the rematch. The one with Rusev. The one with Rusev in the field, I didn't count that one. I don't ever put finishes on that one. That one was the one that was a week before the one on one. Yeah, and I gotta thank y'all because y'all putting that on the chat is the only reason I watched it. Cause like like the dog just said, I wasn't watching them damn wrong. Yeah, that wrong was terrible, <laughs> but boy, that man. But y'all were talking about the chat. I turned the channel right away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with that kind of like yeah, that one's so damn good that Ooh, the ball boy. said we have to do this again because it didn't get enough respect. That was a nice Cesaro grabbing the damn brass ring. Yeah, and then Vince <laughs> pulled and then, it, and then took that it straight bitch right from his hand. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled Cesaro, the Cesaro ribs a shoulder up, <laughs> ripped that ring yeah, right. Yeah, then, then somebody wrapped the sh- then somebody put the ring around his shoulder and yanked it real hard. <laughs> and that, that, <laughs> I'm like, why is he suddenly losing? All of a sudden, he keeps saying, "Oh, Cesaro hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt." I'm like, "Oh, he's legitimately hurt." <laughs> Damn. Damn it, 2015. Vacant, man. <laughs> Vacant is like the yeah, evil man. superstar, man. I fought that nigga. But, man, man Sasha Bailey was good. That, 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 that super belly to belly for the finish. And that inverted Frankensteiner. And thank God Sasha Banks did not seriously hurt herself. I, I mean, mean right? yeah. Bailey almost lost a fan that night. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Was Bailey that, almost that was committed Iron, a homicide. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> that was um, Iron Man match, if you're wondering. Yep. I thought I, I was. I, oh, that one Iron Man. Yeah, the one that is the um. The that's the second one. one. That's the second one. Oh, right? that was the second one. Yeah, the first one was Sasha laying on her neck real weird. Oh, and she, yeah. If she didn't show up to survive. Uh, oh, yeah, that one. Well, the I, one from Brooklyn. That's oh, that one. Oh, well, then I'm going with Sasha Banks versus Sasha Banks versus Sasha Banks. Yeah, that one. 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 Y
Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna vote for a match that ain't even on here. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I put my favorite one out of that. I would pick John Cena Rusev Last Man Standing. I hated that match. I hated it. Too. It was it was kind of lumpy. It was like a bump, bumpy. Then it smoothed out towards the end. That's what was my yeah, problem. Yeah, the beginning started a little slow. In my defense, I hate Last Man Standing matches. Period. It started mm-hmm. a little slow. Then John Cena. Then John Cena. I pray called it all, but he changed the pace of the match completely from the beginning. I'm not picking that though. Cena, Rollins, Lesnar, just because I don't fight fit. I'm also picking that match. match. That junk, that triple threat match? Yep. Well, that was a match of the year to me. I don't yeah, fight voting for yep. Owen, so I'm just going with that. But, like, since since three, since three, four of John Cena's matches, well, yeah, four other John Cena matches were left off, and you got to talk. I, I'm choosing the Cesaro of the 30 minutes. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. This should be the year that shut <laughs> up every neckbeard about John Cena can't wrestle. This of year should have shut course them it, up. It, it, of course it did. I'm, I'm, I'm about to further shut them up. We have another goddamn tie. Oh. <laughs> it's two uh, Cena. What okay, we, got three. Two, we got two triple threat matches. Oh. Actually, no, it's three Cena Cesaro. Cena wins! Yeah, because <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to vote for the triple threat at Royal Rumble. So, Cena wins. That match was LOL, amazing. Cena wins. And the winner is... John Cena! <laughs> So, match of the year is John Cena versus Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar at Royal Rumble. And John Cena versus Cesaro on Raw. I just want to say congratulations to Cesaro on winning something. Even though you took an L in that match, but... Hey... Hey, he 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 had that. Take the L on you. Hey, he still better than me. Oh, that one. That one. That <laughs> hey, one the, the L, he may have got the L, but he got the W. And, what? And that was the tie. Yeah. Oh, three for the triple threat, three for this one. Yeah. Man, that triple threat match was awesome. Yeah, it that, was. That pay per view sucked. Yeah, that pay per view did blow. Yeah, hey, it was, Brock's first worst pay per view to you. Hey, it's Brock's <laughs> first. Oh, uh, no, no, the, no, the, no, no. There's that one worse. There's one worse. No, I'm gonna tell you this. No, that championship match probably do make Survivor Series the worst one. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, Survivor Series didn't give you good, about good two know. matches on there that were good. Although, but that whole Royal Rumble sucked to me, but th- that championship match was too good. The next category, Diva of the Year. Man, fuck the category. They ain't the main event. Oh. <laughs> um, the they nominees are right, damn it. Charlotte. Hell no. <laughs> get off your mama. <laughs> get off your daddy's. Damn. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, damn. Bailey, Sasha Banks, Paige, Nikki Bella. I, I won't say her the name. The lioness. <laughs> the lion bitch. Paige. <laughs> GG. GG. Just run out to I don't know. She up here uh, with the last four months with a neck and back injury. And still did. And still, I wrestled Charlotte in that match. She was supposed to be good. <laughs> Nikki Bella. <laughs> I'm going with uh, Sasha based off of NXT easily. I'm also going with Sasha. I'm for I don't know teams. where to vote for with my head or my heart. I'm, wait, no I'm voting with both. <laughs> Man. So Sean is definitely off the list. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going <laughs> primarily what he did on their main shows at the time for just main main roster, Nikki Bella. And I'm going for what he also did in NXT. Then I'm going Sasha Banks. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Think. Huh. Think. Should I vote for Am I the one who thinks oh, there's a lot of that they shouldn't Shit. change Sasha <laughs> Banks to a face? That they should make her break away from Team Bad and be a heel? Uh, she should get away from Team Bad, but she needs to go face. I'll she keep her heel. Too many heels already. When Nikki Bella come back, I want Nikki Bella to stay here. We got Paige. She needs to stay here. I want Nikki Bella and Paige to be featured. So yeah. I need somebody for them to the go fan, again. The fans, Sasha. the fans confuse me with Nikki. Oh, Charlotte turned a heel. So yeah, Charlotte turned. But they, I need maybe, faith. Maybe she needs to go face. Yeah, there you go. The fan, the fans, there you go. The fans confuse me with the Bella Twins. They cheer them now, so I don't even know if they're heels anymore. <clears throat> and I can't blame Booking for that. I can't blame look. the fans. 
Cause they, they don't, don't know, know what to think because they're, they're just put, so popular. That's the problem. No, I don't. They don't know what to think because they're putting Bree in there with Charlotte, and Charlotte's turning heel, and she's cheating to beat Bree. At this point, oh I'd, ra- I'd, ra- I'd rather I'd rather cheer for freaking Bree than freaking uh than Charlotte. Cause yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but if you got it, she's her, trying her, shit. Her Nance <laughs> need to be back in NXT. It, but, I have no problem with Charlotte. I have a problem with Charlotte trying to be Ric Flair. If, if you got to cheat to beat Bree, then uh, what are you doing with your life? Like, I don't know. Stephanie had to. Exactly. But she's so the boss. Like, Who cares? Like, yeah, but <laughs> Who cares? But she's yeah, but bitch. Stephanie is like the queen goddess of WWE. No, she's queen bitch. Because she's yeah, a Stephanie bitch. queen. Yeah, Stephanie queen. Cause she step on somebody real, then she got to get. A, then she have a need backup. Cause she queen bitch. We need. We she need, can find backup for Ronda Rousey. We need Ronda Rousey to be a queen permanent character. Bitch. <laughs> so every time she slapped the shit out of Roman, Roman just call her and that shit stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, until until they put a restraining order on Ronda, then bam. Or they call up Holly Holm. Anyway, who wins? <laughs> they, well, and three people had voted. I said, I'm thinking because we have three votes for what? I said three votes for who? We had three votes for us. I heard Sasha a Paige. As Diva of the Year. I heard a Sasha. I heard a Nikki. I'm just telling you what I heard. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, my, over, right. my overall pick is Nikki. Oh. All right, Nikki, two Sasha, then a. Hey, it doesn't matter where I'm Charlotte lose because Charlotte losing with Charlotte winning and Ty would meant nothing while a villain to actually beat. Me so probably. we have three for Sasha, right? Two. Um, why did who you vote for? Uh, like I said, I I, I can't decide whether to vote with my shit. head or my heart. Me either. The shit, I'm voting on both right now. But then what are you voting? Well, it was easy for me. I'm sorry, I picked, man. I picked Bailey twice today. Oh, now I gotta get one for Sasha. <laughs> Who had an awesome year until she got to the main roster. Yeah, that's the only part. <laughs> that's the only part. I'm picking Sasha so loud, man, because those two NXT matches you had with Baylor are better than any no, Divas match they had all year on the main roster. That's kind of why I wanted to And part. until Paige turned heel, Sasha Banks was the best thing about this so-called Divas revolution. Fuck it. Which is dead. <laughs> She I like a, Nikki too, but it was mostly. Fuck it, R truth out of the right the first time. I'm going for Paige. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess I, I'm going for Sasha Banks because all right, Sa- Sasha, Sasha has it. Then. Sasha been perfectly fine. Got me Triple H, rap, Triple H, and then have her wrapped in bubble wrap. Don't she, worry, Sendell, you'll be mine. You throw Sasha off a building, she'll say she'll be surviving. And, 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 and Sasha's just, a wrestling fan, so she ain't gonna quit in five years. <laughs> Diva of the year. The both. The both. Sasha Banks. Last category. Superstar of the year. The nominees are... John Cena. Seth Rollins. Roman drains the life out of the crowd. KO. And Finn Balor. Disgust. Right in. I'm going to say mine first. Um, Seth Rollins, right in. Cause I know who going. Freebird, new guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Freebird, superstar. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I second that. And I'm in that. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. Even though, nah, I would stick to what. I mean, I would stick what uh, go ahead and put up there. All the matches oh, of the year. God. All these matches of the year. I mean, yeah. the Rusev, the open challenges. You're unironically voting for John Cena. I mean, he deserves it. Yeah, yes. he's a superstar. I mean, this man managed to turn the IWC on his side for a while. The TV be Kevin Owens, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, <laughs> I forgot. I hate the IWC. In that case, I'm voting for Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all! To the day I die, oh, nigga. Hey. Fuck y'all. Yeah, but then Roman Reigns got their love for like two set. Got their love. Okay, never mind. I ain't voting for him. <laughs> well, I'm going it's to all about, John Cena. It's all about my boy, John Cena. John Cena. Hmm. Is there a Seth Rollins or John Cena? There's no... To me... John! In my John, John. Opinion, John, John! In my opinion, John. it's either John Cena anyway. or Seth Rollins. The rest of them don't matter. Ding, ding, ding. I, I hear what you're saying. You can give Finn Balor the love on NXT, but... So I'll stick if with I, Seth Rollins. If I, got, he's the man. if I got a flip a coin, it's gonna be... John Cena! I, did, I had an issue it with this. Te- we really it need a, a, a seventh person. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna, get, I'm ridiculous. gonna say Rollins just because he had the time. If it wasn't the takeover was so spaced out, I would have said Finn Balor. But John Cena had so many more moments, more promos, more matches. I mean, yeah, we're voting for somebody that even that ain't even on the right, over two them. people that are even there right Cena. now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how bad the TV is. These motherfuckers ain't even there. 
Oh my uh, god! Bacon, bacon me, taking out knees and that. Oh, and for me, it's time between Cena and Rollins. I can't decide. I mean, Cena, you actually booking. He came in, came in soft, uh, being the fighter with for Brock Lesnar. Then went on against Rusev. Then in the year, he take time off and he loses to um, Del Rio. Think about it like this: What about the um, United States Open Challenge? Cena had a better year than what? Seth Rollins. The Open Challenge alone was like watchable TV. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Open Challenge is where the highlight of Raw until it the was. New Day started yeah, really was. getting coming into that's the That's why they should free bird the superstar. Uh, see, that's why I had to write it for New Day. <laughs> but, but the thing about this, this was the first, the John Cena Open Challenge wasn't about the matches. It was who was going to answer. That's all I cared about. Who was going to face right. John Cena. All John Cena matches almost look the same. Yeah, they do. Well, the keyword was it. almost but. and look. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say all the other Cena matches was the same. I almost looked the same. But, uh, and but when that, I see Wade Barrett kicking out of AA, that tells me something. <laughs> <laughs> that move has no. I'm glad around the next chamber right they kind of cut back on a lot of false things. I but, am too. Yeah. John Cena had the better year than Seth Rollins. Why? Because he actually won his, won matches. The That's one that won matches. <laughs> Yeah, no, he he like, won. Like, like, <laughs> you know what? You are 100 percent right. He won like two matches. Now we're doing the match. We go down to the world champion. Oh yeah, he won. Your world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins. Y'all got Seth Rollins beat John, and he broke the old man's neck. He only won. He only won two matches. Every other match. And that would make him the main. It was in it, 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 it was a highlight. Well, when he actually, actually won a match clean. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is what, going on here? He actually brought me break. I'm like, Seth Rollins actually <laughs> lost his main time? Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. damn, Seth. That way you want it. Seth was losing on TV and house show. That was good. No, I gave Seth what? He was not both of the year because Seth. You know what? That further's my pick for Seth Rollins because he managed to stay champion through all that. <laughs> He's he's the like, Does he look like a chump the whole year? <laughs> but he was the champion. He was the chump chumpy, daughters. Hey, Seth did one thing I always say. As long as you get a W. He didn't get a W. He took L. <laughs> he got the C, though. Hey, that's hey, all that matters, man. Seth did the second thing I always say. Sometimes it's all right to take L. Did this qualification with L. He took more L's than Meek Mill, dog. I'm done. I can't do it. Yeah, that. but quality on the quantity of Meek Mill got it worse. So can we? Uh, but but yeah. win, the winner. Well, we can't either. Uh, I, won, I, won I can't vote. I can't vote. I'm laughing too damn hard. It's, it's going to be Cena. I heard two Cena. It's going to be. It's going to uh, be. I heard three Cena. Then I heard yeah, three Cena. I'm actually can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm voting for Cena. That's four Cenas. Uh, four Cenas then. Wait, I haven't voted yet. We know. Wait, who? That's four wait, who Cenas. voted? Everybody go to see him tell me. <laughs> that yeah, was that what it is, man. Fuck it. Fuck the IWC Roman Reigns. Because y'all got to hate him at World Rumble in the goddamn way. So fuck y'all. Hey. Y'all have a good night, bitch. For the first year, <laughs> it's all right to pick Cena as Superstar of the Year. Yeah. All the other years were wrong. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, especially earlier because it should have been AJ. Now, remember that one year where he was Superstar of the Year, but he lost every fucking pay-per-view? That was still got Sam Superstar of the Year. Sam came out there and I sent the award and like, this man admittedly said he had the worst year of his uh, life, yeah, and y'all made him Superstar of the Year. I guess Superstar of the Year. And his name is John C. <laughs> Y'all already know who the MVP of our Slammers is. I thought it was Kevin Owens. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> they won. I think almost every category they was in. Every category they was in. Yeah, if, they if, the free right. bird, if the free bird rules in fact, then they'd be... They'd be going... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They'd be in right now. Superstar of the year. I guess that concludes um, the 2015 Slammies. Um... Um, happy New Year, happy holidays, and all the other good shit. Uh, peace. One of the worst years for wrestling in a very long time.